First tonight, Rhode Island's tolls on tractor trailers are officially up and running. The two toll locations in Exeter and Hopkinton went online overnight, and the first toll was collected one second after midnight. Twelve more locations are expected to go up over the next year and a half. And that's all part of Governor Gina Raimondo's Roadworks plan to raise money for road and bridge repairs. But the trucking industry is fuming, claiming they've been unfairly singled out. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado spoke to both sides today and has more now live from Providence. Steph? RIDOT SAYS 3,700 TOLLABLE TRUCKS WENT UNDER THOSE TOLLS IN THE FIRST 12 HOURS OF THEM BEING ONLINE. THAT WAS ON TRACK WITH THEIR ESTIMATES. IT'S THE FIRST TEST OF WHAT WILL SOON BE A STATEWIDE TOLLING SYSTEM ONLY FOR TRACTOR TRAILERS. Truck driver Don Biggerstaff driving under one of Rhode Island's new toll gantries. On the first day, tractor trailers like this one are being assessed tolls at two locations in southern Rhode Island. I've never been in a state where it was trucks only. He came from North Carolina for an anti-toll event organized by the Rhode Island Trucking Association and Republican candidate for Governor Patricia Morgan, who promised to dismantle the tolls if elected. It's just going to be harmful in so many ways to Rhode Island. And we shouldn't be doing it. So we're against tolls to begin with. But secondly, you obviously are now taking one class of tractor trailer, one class of truck, to shoulder the burden of Rhode Island's infrastructure. It's not fair. But Rhode Island DOT Director Peter Alvidi says the truck tolls make things more fair because he says tractor trailers cause far more damage to the roads and bridges than other vehicles. Everyone else in passenger vehicles has been subsidizing the trucking industry in Rhode Island. So we're tolling, from a fairness standpoint, the vehicles that cause the most damage and have not been paying their proportionate share of that damage in the past. And Governor Raimondo's campaign shot back at Patricia Morgan, accusing her of wanting to bring the state back to having the worst bridges in America. Independent governor candidate Joe Trillo also weighing in, saying Patricia Morgan can't just dismantle the tolls if elected because they were put into law by the General Assembly. Trillo says he would try to change the law if elected. Now coming up new at 6, more on how this whole toll system works, including how RIDOT is trying to prevent errors. Live in Providence, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. But first, new details on Rhode Island's truck tolling system, which went live early this morning. And it follows years of controversy and debate, and the battle over the tolls is not over yet. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado joins us live from the mobile newsroom with how truckers are responding, plus what's being done to make sure other drivers aren't tolled. Steph? Well, the trucking industry continues to threaten legal action over these tolls, but as we wait for that lawsuit to be filed, we are learning more tonight about how this toll system works. Truckers who drive under these toll gantries in Exeter and Hopkinton are now being charged 325 or 350 respectively at the two locations on I-95. Are you sure you want to go under them? I have no choice now. <laughs> we rode along with Don Biggerstaff as he got told. The North Carolina truck driver came up for an anti-toll event that also served as a campaign event for Republican Patricia Morgan. He acknowledged getting told is normal for him. Getting told is. I've never been in a state where it was trucks only. It's not fair. Our point is we're against tolls, but if you're going to toll, you have to toll everyone proportionately. Truckers are fighting back against the tolls, but right on director Peter Alvidi says tractor trailers should contribute the most. We're tolling from a fairness standpoint, the vehicles that cause the most damage. Alvidi says the toll gantries went through months of testing with the vendor CAPS to make sure they are only tolling those large tractor trailers. The system uses sensors to determine if a vehicle is tollable with human backups to review video and photos if needed. Truckers with Easy Pass will be billed to that account. Everyone else will get a bill in the mail based on their license plate. And the national trucking industry has gone involved with the opposition here in Rhode Island. They continue to threaten legal action, but they won't say when that lawsuit might be filed. The state says it is ready to defend the tolls in court, with 12 more toll locations set to go online over the next 18 months. Live in Providence, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.